It's the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show. Our daily mission is to come to you with news that you can use. Social media handles for Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is Open Mike Broadcast Network. Our website, obnradio.com. And our 24-hour dial-in message line, 713-570-6736. And without any further delay, we'll jump right into today's episode. Well, before we get started, I want to remind you that today is the day that the journey will pick back up. Special guest at high noon will be Miss Alicia Burwell. She is the athletic director of Texas College Steers. Be very excited to hear what she has to share with us on today. And another little programming note, Sunday night we had a slight mix-up with our live show, the Sunday Night Live, My Prince Edition. We actually hit the wrong button, and some of you were not able to listen live. But we got a way you can remedy that. Instead of registering to a specific show like the Mike Prince show, the Carlos Brown show, or any other specific show, if you would register to the Open Mic Broadcast Network by way of Spreaker, that way you can get everything that comes through. Also, you can register through the YouTube channel. You'll never miss anything that we produce. So we do apologize about that mix-up, but you can go to the archive sections and check those things out. Very great interview with Dr. Donald Reed on Sunday night. A lot of good feedback from you guys. Also, a great interview with Dr. Mickey Allen of Tennessee State. You guys really enjoyed that. And those that are here locally enjoyed Athletic Director Gene Johnson of the Wall of Bulldogs. So we're going to keep these coming on a steady pace. We're going to take a quick break here from our sponsors, and we'll be right back with today's episode. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network. I'd like to take this time to recognize our sponsors and supporters at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Prairie View Athletic Club, Attorney Lee Van Richardson, Farmers Insurance of Hempstead, Texas. Diva Skin Conditioner, Helping Hands Lawn Service. Thank you for your support of our local and regional coverage of student athletics here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Welcome back to the Mike Prince Show. We're going to be very brief on today, give you some news and notes and things that are going on right now. But Thone Cookman is the latest buzzword right now in regards of relocating. They had a special board meeting to discuss their future with the MEAC and the MEAC appears, and I use that word appear, and I'll get to that in just a moment, but it is being discussed about the possibilities of Bethune-Cookman relocating, in particular they're saying to possibly keep up with their travel partners, FAMU, from the MEAC. Now there is the Atlantic Sun Conference that is definitely in the back door of Bethune-Cookman. But the challenge with that is they do not offer football at this moment. There are discussions that football will be coming in the very near future. So then the alternative could be possibly, as far as their football need to be fulfilled, that they become an affiliate member for football purposes only with the Southwestern Athletic Conference. And whenever and if football gets off the ground with the Atlantic Sun Conference, then they could transfer back over. Some would like the deal that the Southwestern Athletic Conference did with Howard in soccer. Then, of course, the mystery carrot of Tennessee State. What will, what won't happen in regard to that. So the way you look at it, if I am the commissioner of the MEAC, I'm not the commissioner of the MEAC, but if I am the commissioner of the MEAC, although it appears that it's a bad, I won't even say bad time, it's a stressful time right now 
but you could actually take this opportunity to reinvent the conference, if you would, reestablish your travel blueprint, and make what appears to be a challenging situation a very pleasant situation. What am I saying? If I'm the commissioner, secretly, not publicly, I'm almost going to be encouraging Bethune-Cookman to seek elsewhere. Not that I don't want them, but it instantly changes my regional travel footprint throughout the conference. Right now, the Atlantic coastal area were the heartbeat of these MEAC teams that remain. FAMU leaving for 2021, Bethune-Cookman knocking at the door of leaving. So in order to reestablish a grip on my travel budget throughout the rest of my member schools, why not say, hey, man, thank you guys so much. I understand you have to do what you have to do. It's like we're going to have to do what we have to do. And this could really turn around and be a great thing for the MEAC. Now, the down part of it is you would have six football schools. That is the bare minimum for a Division I conference to be recognized. You don't have to rush to try to get other member schools. You do eventually want to seek that opportunity out. But you could take this as an opportunity to re-solidify the mission of the conference, the pecking order, if you would, of the conference of those who remain, and rally everybody in to say, okay, we are MEAC, here we go, let's move full steam ahead. It is really how you look at it if you're on the MEAC side of things. Yes, it appears that it's rough. Yes, it appears that it's a dead man walking. But I've had the opportunities to communicate on the air, off the air with Dr. Thomas. If anyone can handle the situation where the MEAC is right now, it is Dr. Thomas. We're going to Keep our fingers on the pulse of this situation. See how things develop. And speaking of developing, Houston Tillerson has announced that they will not have any fall sports competition coming for the 2020 campaign. And that's a shot fired without anybody recognizing that the shot was fired. Let me explain why I say that. While everybody is focused on FBS transitions, what's happening, what's not happening, your D3s, NAIAs, and soon they'll start moving upward towards your D2s and your FCS D1s are looking at the handwriting on the wall. For safety purposes, for financial purposes, and for the sake of higher education. They're going to put the educational piece first and cross that bridge of athletics whenever that bridge has been approached. It's the logical thing to do. It is, in my opinion, the best thing to do. We're going to be trying to reach out to see if we can get the newly hired athletic director, Dr. Monique Carroll, to explain the process and the decision that was made for Houston Tillerson making their announcement. Speaking of announcements, I'm going to exit stage left for right now. Do want to remind you guys to join on the journey. Athletic director Alicia Burwell of Texas College. High noon when it'll break off and it'll be on the journey under the open mic broadcast network platform if you cannot catch it 
on the Spreaker side of things, you can always check it out by way of YouTube. YouTube address is Open Mic Broadcast Network. I've got to go. My time is far spent. I must exit stage left. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. And until the next time, you guys be blessed. We'll see you on the other side.